So how does the SABO flex and the SABO glove work? So it works on the principles of neuroplasticity. As we know, for neuroplasticity to occur, the brain needs thousands of repetitions to create new motor pathways. However, when the stroke survivor can't complete one repetition of finger extension, how are they possibly going to achieve the thousands? So the SABO flex helps the person achieve these mass repetitions of finger extension with the assistance of a spring-loaded mechanism, while the glove helps with finger extension through rubber bands at the finger joints. The SABO flex and glove teach the stroke survivor to learn how to control the strength of their finger flexes and also how to relax this muscle. As the spring can't contract or open the fingers if the patient is still flexing their hand. These components are crucial for a person to learn so they are able to use their hand again. As the stroke survivor's finger extensors become stronger, the assistance provided by the SABO flex or glove in helping the fingers to open can be graded so the patient learns to do more of this themselves. The SABO flex allows only gross grasp and release of the SABO balls to increase the repetition of finger extension. However, the SABO glove allows for more individual finger movement and as such, the participant can work more on their fine motor tasks, such as using their pincer grasp. Some people are even able to wear the SABO glove throughout the day to improve their use of their hand in daily activities. Ideally, as the patient improves with activating their finger extension, they can be moved off the SABO products and work on their movement through task-specific practice. So ideally, this is the therapy progression you would aim to achieve with using either the SABO flex or SABO glove. <coughs> Upon assessment and goal setting with the stroke survivor, it is identified they want to be able to open the hand to pick up items. However, as a result of their stroke, they're able to only close their hand, finger flexion, and not open, finger extension. The SABO flex allows them to achieve the high repetitions required to assist in the facilitation of neuroplasticity for finger extension. As the patient improves in this area, which you will identify as their release time of the ball quickens, the spring resistance can be downgraded. This means the participant has to do more of the finger extension themselves and the SABO flex helps less. Your next grading option as the patient continues to improve is using the SABO flex for the first half of your session and then removing it for your second half. Using the SABO flex to start with I find helps with activating the finger extensors while also providing a bit of a stretch to the finger flexes. So in the second part of your session the participant is able to achieve grasp and release on their own. Eventually, as these muscles get stronger, the participant is at the stage where they have enough strength and activation in their hand to do the exercises and achieve their mass repetitions without needing the SABO flex. And at this stage, you can then provide your patient with task-specific exercises based on their goals.